Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome to Viking Preparedness. I'm Pastor Joe Fox. Hey, there were some big tornadoes in the Dallas-Fort Worth area today. I saw a picture online. You guys probably saw it, too. You may have seen video uh, of two tractor trailers that were flying through the air. Uh, pretty impressive. Well, some people have been sending me email and posting on my links uh, about my shelter. And they're like, hey, Pastor Joe, how's your shelter coming? Where is it at? We're all curious to know. So I figured I'd, I'd show you the shelter, talk about it. It's not done yet, but it would protect us if a tornado came. All right, so here's the top side. I finally got it covered with dirt. It doesn't look pretty yet. I, I'm debating whether I'm going to plant squash or grass on top of it. Grass would be easier and cover it right now. But I covered this whole thing up uh, by hand with a wheelbarrow and a shovel from a big pile of dirt that used to be right here. There is a problem though. Originally I was going to enter the shelter down a trench that came this way but you can see now I've, I put a wall in here, a retaining wall, and I was going to go in there. Uh, but here's the deal. The final digging of this shelter to put it in, uh, we dug it about three inches too deep and so water flows down here and into the shelter where it was. What I've done is I've dug a second ditch. Hi sweetie. I've done a second dish ditch right here uh, and that's just temporary to get the water. My shelter was actually full of about, well you can see the water line in there. Let me zoom in for you. Water line was up to there. It was terrible. Um, so now I've got I've got it drained at least and what I'm gonna do what my plan is is let it dry out a little bit more Of course, it's gonna rain tonight, and I'm gonna dig another trench in here out here underneath the uh, sidewalk and out and I'm gonna put Some of this pipe in there. I'll, I'll lay some gravel down and then I'll lay some of this drainage pipe in there Then I'll cover the whole thing with gravel and it'll end up being about this level all the way out. I need to put some retaining walls up here and, and down here on this side to keep this dirt right here uh, from flowing down like it does. It keeps filling in my ditch uh, every time it rains. I went ahead and dug underneath the sidewalk there and there's actually a little hole through there. I, I punched it through with that pole that you see laying in my garden. I just kind of forced it through. It's just clay and now uh, the water drains and, and it goes out into the garden there. Um, so I'll give you, oh and I had to build this retaining wall because this was where it was going out. This was going to be our approach route to the shelter uh, but that just wasn't working water wise. It was easier just to drain straight out there and so I stacked tires, pounded dirt into them, made this little wall. So it's still a work in progress. The good news is, you know, y'all forbid if that tornado supercell or whatever shows up, we do have a dry place to go. It does not have a door on it yet. I wanted to make sure it would stay dry in a rainstorm before I put a door. I'm going to make a door out of two by fours and put it on there. Uh, but at least we have a place that's sort of underground right now to go. Um, so there you go. Right, so that's it for today. Just give you the quick update on the shelter. Uh, you know, it'll work if it needs to. There's still work to be done, but like I said, there's priorities, and right now, this is in the good enough category. Okay, I'll see you out there. 